What's up, YouTube Bronies? Hey, welcome back. Hey, today we're gonna start Bomb of the Week finally with my boy Cole. If you don't mind introducing you to people. Yep, what's up, everybody? My name is Cole. We're here to bring you guys the biggest bombs of the week. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, we love tanks. Um, so uh, we had an opening day weekend, correct? Yep. Um, incredible crazy. weekend of a lot of bombs getting hit. Um, so today we're gonna go over some of those yep. and we're gonna pick our favorite. And the winner will receive the Bomb of the Week award right here, man. For the boys. Check that out. Let's go. <laughs> uh, this is outrageous. I don't know where we got this, but we're going to roll with it. And along with that, a lit big throw gas hip bomb shirt as well. So stay tuned. All right. So uh, first video, let's see what we got, man. All right. Let's go ahead and run it. First video. Nico Horner, dude. <laughs> of all people. <laughs> let's go. Dick shot slider. We'll smell you. Out. One, one count. First home run of the year is Nico. I mean, look at that. Look at that right there. <laughs> Look He's pretty pumped. I mean, I get it. I mean, it's the first homer of the year. You know, a lot of people were waiting for this, especially during the lockout and everything. We missed baseball. Uh, so I get the excitement, you know. No, uh, I get it. Incredible. I get it. But, I mean, dude, going into this, would you have predicted that Nico Horner's first Fuck home run? No, yeah. <laughs> of all people. Don't throw shitty sliders. No, no. But you know what was crazy is that it's in 45 degree weather yep. and it's off the reigning Cy Young. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Never would have predicted it. I mean, Nico Horner, like, of all people. <laughs> I thought we'd have Shohei Otani or some shit, you know? uh, But incredible, man. Again, we love home. Yep. And, and I'm, I'm glad uh, he kicked us off the right way because since then, there's been a shit ton of homers getting hit. Yep. So, and let's uh, go right into the next one here. Let's do it, baby. Here we go. We have Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. First career oh. bomb. And what's cool about this one, if you listen in. <laughs> His parents, right? Parents are interviewed. In there. That's yes, amazing. Sir. Dude, what an experience though for the parents. Though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many times can you, do you get to do that? Like, no. not often. No, you know? not often at all. That's incredible. Welcome to the show, Jeremy Pena. Yeah, yeah. Sticking with the theme of first home runs of their baseball career. Insert. Boom. <laughs> Say ya. Oh! 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 oh the bat flip. Good job. Let's go. Oh, those. Dude, that's Moon incredible. Shot, dude. dude. 111? Tight. And again, you gotta understand, these MPB players and KBO players that come over here, they pimp the fucker. That's their culture there, and I respect yep. that. I mean, look at... <laughs> oh, let's go! Um, I actually caught that on film uh, last time I saw him um, play at uh, the swing training game. And that's really cool to me when guys um, really uh, grasp on their culture and they, they, they move it to a different country, but Absolutely. they still like embrace that. You yep. know, like I love that. And the players are all about it. The third base coach, of course, is all about it. Oh yeah, he was the first one here. He was exactly. waiting for him. And that, that kind of stuff fires me up because that's what brings baseball together in, yep. in, in across the globe. You know, yep. it's not just in the States. It's, it's played literally fucking everywhere. And, he, and we've seen quite a few celebrations over third base. And Stanton's got his here. Right. And then yeah. now we've got this now officially. Right, right. I mean, I think, I think that's the best one. Best one. Best Absolutely. one like the Sally at third base. I mean, yep. you can't beat that. Yeah. <laughs> and and after, you, especially tank like that i mean exactly shit. and if you little if you little guys are out there please send us a video doing that yes that's got to be the next big thing yes yes make it absolutely happen. tag us we'll fuck you know we'll get on the film who knows we'll, we'll fucking play it here <laughs> so hitting your first career home run is great we love it but let's go ahead and kick this up a notch we've got tioscar hernandez going into this home run his team was down seven to nothing going into this wow mm, little oh. awful taco <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oppo Taco, 389, 108 off the bat. And dude, I mean, you gotta understand though, like if you look at the pitch location there, it's up and away, yep. and it's at 98. And to, for him to be able to do that, that's just an impressive, impressive swing. I don't Absolutely. know how many people actually understand how incredible that is. Yeah. Even though, of course, like, yeah, middle, middle, anybody can hit that. But like up and away at 98 for him to do that shit, I mean, that's just incredible. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so jumping into this next one here. This is a home run by Jazz Chisholm. This left, is gonna be left. another oppo taco to left field. Yep. But what's unique about this home mm. run, oh my. Deep to left and... Mm. oof. <laughs> Woo! 386, oppo taco. In a few moments here, we're gonna we're gonna see his traditional Euro step as he comes to <laughs> home plate, which we love that here, right? I, I love that. Gotta shit, celebrate man. it. It's coming up right here. Uh... <laughs> hey, can we get a King Juco Euro step? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> Back to the video. Um, again, that, that kind of celebration is incredible. Now, I heard he got benched after that game, Dude, correct? So, and that's why this video is in here, because it's mm. something that's worth highlighting. Right. He does a Euro step. Now, yep. keep in mind, it wasn't for no reason. Right. That's top nine. Yep. Your team's down by one. Absolutely. You just hit a go-ahead two-run bomb. Absolutely. I'm, I'm for it, right? Yeah, uh, 100%. Ends up getting benched the next game, and our man took it to Twitter. That's amazing. He went to Twitter and <laughs> blew it up. I, I, and I love that because, number one, if you hit a tank, 
pimp it. Have fun, pimp it, enjoy the game, all right? And now, on the other side of things, if you strike out and pitcher pimps it, you better be cool with that too, you know? Because that's how it works, you know? If you want to bring excitement to the game, um, this kind of shit plays. It's exciting moment of that game. Why can't we do that in baseball? Make baseball cool again. Exactly. Starting with the Euro step. All right, so this next home run is probably the most impressive one that we've got here. I'm gonna let my man take this one over. Hey. Hey. Hey! <laughs> Cut the shit. Cut this tape. I'm done. This is the last day we're gonna be doing this. Uh, fuck this content. But the reason. <laughs> but, later, yeah, but later on the game, right? Yeah. Same game. Pete Alonso gets hit. Gets taken out of the game. Spitting out blood. Right. Then the following night, he does this, dude. Mm. God, dude, Get he the rakes. fuck off of me, Grand he fucking Slam. Rakes, dude. <laughs> that motherfucker rakes. And I, I don't know if people understand how impressive that is at launch angle at 39. To hit the ball at 112. Now, like, higher the launch angle, usually lower the exit velo because it's just harder to hit it. But for him to hit it 112 miles an hour at 39, stupid. It's stupid. fucking stupid. And I, and I love that attitude, especially when you get hit like that. You're like, fuck you, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a get your ass back. Yeah, exactly. Literally the next day, Grand Slam. Like, that is tight. All right, so moving this next one, Grand Slams are cool, but what about hitting six straight home runs <laughs> against the Red Sox? <laughs> Check this shit out. The guy just rakes. Oh! Just stupid pop, dude. Ridiculous. Oh my god. Now, one of the home runs that he hit this weekend that didn't quite make the cut right. was one with a launch angle of 15 down I, the line. <laughs> Driven out to right field, Bradley back, turning, looking, bullet, see ya, tie game. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought you were going to put that in there. Too, I thought about it. I thought again, about just it. Honorable mention. So speaking of tanks and high velos, check this out by <laughs> Vladdy Guerrero Jr. this weekend. <laughs> Fucking legend. He's, dude, he's going to, he already had an amazing year, but he's going to have stupid year this. Oh my, oh my God. 118 and 467, longest home run of oh opening day weekend. God. Oh my God. 467. I just want to hear what that sounds one Dude, time. The, the announcer like, holy shit. <laughs> they don't even know what to say. Yeah, it's just like, oh my god. Ooh, Dude, he pimped ooh. it too. Is he going to get benched? Like, what are we doing? Like, he ain't going to bench him and Vladdy. So I think it's bullshit for Jazz that, 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 that they did that. You know, it's, yep. it's fucked up. But. Dude, that's amazing, man. I mean, Vlad Jr., everyone knows he rakes. Um, the guy just stupid pop and, for, dude, 467. <laughs> With wood bat, I mean, you don't see that often. No, you know, not at impressive. all. 118, too. I mean, that is, yeah, I have nothing to say. No, <laughs> just just it was a tank. It was a tank. <laughs> Farthest and hardest hit home run. Absolute nuke. So capping off this list, we have two home runs left. And this next one, man, you could say you want to go grab a beer right after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seth Beer on the National Beer Day, bro. Oh! oh! Walk off three run jack for the people. Oh my gosh. That's... How does baseball work in such mysterious ways? I... How did that line up for you, National Beer Day? You, you, can't, you can't script that. No. It just, it just, you can't script that. Just a drama. You know, it just, it just, it just incredible. Like, I, I can't believe this actually happened. Seth Beer, walk off Homer on a National Beer Day. 100%. 100%. And I, even think about it. You think about the walkout? Yeah. You think yep. about all the things that led up. Just for, don't, don't even take right, consideration right, the game right, itself. Right, right. How no. many things that Everything had to work out perfect for, for National this to happen. Day. <laughs> yeah. You come up and hit yeah. a three run tank. And that's incredible. And also a great swing. If you go back to the swing, um, it's, a, it's a slider, I believe, low. And he's just like, just put the barrel down, man. Great swing. And, uh, do, great swing. I mean, for him to do that, just impressive. And uh, with that said, we have one final tank of the week. Yep. And uh, is, this, is this one being crowned? For me, you can't beat this. <laughs> I, I get it, like Vlad Jr., Jazz, like they're, they're amazing homers, but this, it's just incredible that human beings can do this. Yep. You know, so let's watch and this. With that said, let's go ahead and watch it. Byron Buxton. Oh, oh my! Whoa! One at the chest? Dude! Let's go back. Oh! I mean, in the pin job, the pin job too. Dude, Get off me, dude. 112 at 35 launch and go upper, like what is it? Upper decker, right? It's like mean, the upper, upper, the upper, upper, like upper, upper, the, upper. The, the last upper deck. <laughs> <laughs> just incredible swing, and I, and I just can't believe that that actually happened because again, the pitch also dictates a lot of the the outcome too. Correct? Yeah. Now that was a great pitch. Like I mean, up at the letters. I mean, probably will try to get a swing and miss there. Um, at 101, you can't. You don't do that. You no. just don't do that at a 101 at the letters. And my guy just fucking nuked it. Back leg the fuck out of it <laughs> and just like nuked it, pimped it. 
everything about this is perfect. Give this motherfucker a trophy. This guy deserves it. He's the GOAT. Dude, okay, so I agree. Yeah. The only thing that doesn't make this as perfect for me mm -hmm. is that they fucking lost. <laughs> yeah. uh, my, man, my man in yeah. the bottom of the eight, two I, run ball. I mean, sometimes when you're reliever shit, <laughs> it does happen. Uh, but again, as a hitter, you did your job. 100%. You know, you did your job. 100% and, and well deserved. So this week, take it away, my man. Hey, Byron Buxton is our winner for this week's Bomb of the Week. So you will receive one of these in the mail, so please don't throw it away. <laughs> I was gonna send it to your clubhouse, and then uh, if you do anything with it, great. If not, whatever. All right, anyways, continue doing your thing, man. And all the guys in the big leagues, keep hitting tanks. Don't forget, lift big, throw gas, hit bombs, baby. Boom.